Yeah, hi everyone. This is Wasim Ahmed, and uh, I'm here with you with the second video in the series of five videos, as we discussed earlier in my video. We'll be completing all five questions given by Nepo in their sample exam, and uh, today we are going to discuss question number two. So let's continue. So friends, uh, uh, our task two is why near misses should be investigated, and the question is at the health and safety committee meeting you discuss. The recent car park near miss. Some of the committee members dismissed the idea of investigating tribal car park near misses, but you disagree. What arguments can you give to convince the committee to investigate this car park near miss? Guys, the question is very straightforward, and uh, here the examiner would like you to give him. Uh, an answer uh, where you highlight why incidents, why near misses must be investigated, why they should be reported. So we are going to highlight all of these things in our answer part. So let's continue. If you remember my earlier video, part one, where we did uh, a complete research on scenario, where we did some summaries on scenarios, where we come out with some of the points, major points highlighted in the scenario, I would recommend you to look at that video first to have an idea how you are going to do your research on scenario to get some information in hand. But what we did here is in this slide, I extracted some of the information typically related to this question and uh, uh, this is the only information I put on this slide. So if you look at the first point here, near miss, unsafe fact, poor safety behaviors, this is the heading I have given to this uh, part of the scenario where they highlighted uh, what happened exactly, what was the near miss, what was the unsafe fact by the driver and the person who was walking in the area and uh, what about the behaviors of people. So if you read out, recently a near miss occurred in the car park when a distracted construction driver reversed their vehicle recklessly. So this distracted driver and his behavior is when he was reversing a vehicle recklessly is clearly showing us that people in the organization, uh, their safety behavior, their uh, attitudes toward health and safety is very poor. Then the second part, narrowly missing a fellow construction worker walking to their own vehicle parked opposite. Also the fellow guy uh, who was walking in the area was not focusing on the road, on, on the way he was walking on and he parked his vehicle on the opposite side. So this clearly shows us what kind of culture is prevailing in the organization, how people think about safety. So guys, uh, as a result, there was an angry exchange between two of them. So finally, all of this information is clearly showing us that people are frequently involved in unsafe acts they have very poor safety behaviors and that's why the near misses are happening within the organization. Now going to the second point, repeated incidents, poor reporting and investigation. So if we read it out, you decided to talk informally with some of the workers. They described previous near misses and minor collisions with vehicles reversing out of allocated spaces into the other vehicles and vehicles narrowly missing pedestrians, the worker said that they would not re report these uh, because they were afraid of being blamed. Also, no one listened to them or took any action. They also told that there is no formal health and safety discussion between workers. So this uh, point is very clear where, uh, you know, it is clearly mentioned that such incidents are repeating very frequently and nobody is reporting due to several reasons. Uh, people, are, people, they are afraid of reporting to, you know, uh, they are in, in fear of being blamed also and uh, sometimes when they reported, nobody listened to them. So that's how uh, the reporting culture spoiled. So nobody is interested in reporting these incidents. Even the management is not interested in taking any action in further investigating these incidents to come up with the solutions. So this point is also strongly related to this question. And if you look at the last point, poor safety culture and management commitment, uh, 
you discussed the, the near miss and subsequent exchange with the two workers and the manager also and you asked for their opinions the worker who was almost struck by the reversing vehicle suggested that it would be safer to if anyone reversed into a car parking spaces it was a very good suggestion by worker where he was suggesting that uh, if we park in a reverse position then such incidents can be avoided but uh, as we learned from the scenario that there is no reporting culture such suggestions are uh, not listened by management such uh, there is no consultation arrangement by management and workers so that's why such suggestions remains in the hearts and minds of employees only it never reaches to the top management when we talk about uh, manager he was very less helpful his his attitude towards health and safety was very poor his uh, commitment his leadership qualities everything was uh, broken everything was spoiled so he said let the people sort it out such incidents are happening very frequently but nobody uh, is hurt badly so let it continue let the people sort it out such behaviors are not at all acceptable acceptable uh, by management okay so we all know that safety is first of all management commitment management leadership style and then then only you can have uh, a good safety culture down there so all of these three points are very strongly connected and when we when we do our research on these three points it is very clear what kind of safety culture is prevailing what are the issues so now let's move on to the other part of the question where we are going for solutions so friends uh, we were discussing earlier also that before approaching your answers uh, blindly you need to do uh, a little mind mapping and you need to come up with the idea of what you are going to put in the header of the answer what is what would be the body and then conclusion of the answer to attract examiner's uh, attention so here we will be starting with the definition of near miss and as we mentioned here a near miss is an unplanned event that did not result in injury illness or damage but had the potential to do so only a fortunate break in the chain of events prevented an injury fatality or damage so it is very clear that uh, you know since there is no loss but this incident had a greater potential to convert into an accident why with the loss luckily uh, it was not converted into an accident and it remained a near miss so uh, it is very clear but all the ingredients of a major accidents were there only it's a matter of uh, luck that nothing uh, happened no accident was caused no damage was there also if you look at the pyramid here on your right side uh, i put a pyramid here which is clearly showing relationship between different events and uh, if you look at the bottom of this pyramid 300000 unsafe behaviors were examined out of which 3000 were near misses and 300 recordable injuries 30 lost work days cases and one fatality so the more we have in the bottom the more you would have on the top also so it is a good idea that we control everything on the bottom level we should not have much uh, unsafe behaviors at site so accordingly we can reduce the numbers on top so this is the idea of investigating accidents so you can easily connect uh, the relationship of all of these un unpleasant events Uh, and you can highlight some of the areas of concern that all these incidents must be controlled at bottom through proper investigations and reportings also near miss must be taken seriously and it is only possible when management and workers they think some of the unpleasant event happened or occurred which had a potential to cause them harm but luckily uh, it was only a free warning from god so these warnings should be taken seriously i like a very good saying that lessons are repeated until they are learned so we need to learn from the lessons even these dn verses are lessons for us so that we learn from them and we prevent 
uh, reoccurring such incidents or such events or such near misses. So continuing our discussion on the importance of uh, reporting and investigating uh, near misses, uh, we have to uh, convince the examiner here that there is always a chain of event leading to a major disaster and do not let this chain complete to develop a disaster. If you look at uh, this picture on the right side uh, where it is clearly highlighted that the story starts from hazard identification and if you see there are some bricks kept on height on a scaffold which are about to fall so this is a hazard this is a, an object falling from height hazard and if you observe this unsafe condition and if you control it at this stage it will not jump to another stage which is a second stage where there is a near miss a brick falling on on the head of a person walking underneath so this is a near miss because luckily he escaped but the bricks fall uh, but didn't hit him and if you look at the third stage which is uh, which is a clear accident where the guy was hit by the falling bricks so uh, looking at this relation uh, it started from hazard and nobody controlled it then it convert to a near miss and then finally it was an accident so near misses must be controlled near misses must be controlled through proper observations at site through proper risk assessments through proper reporting through proper investigations so here now we make our point clear to the examiner that why reporting of near misses is very important also controlling a near miss means controlling a major potential incidence expected at a later stage so uh, you made your point here now you convinced somehow the examiner that yes it is very important even if it is a near miss or even unsafe condition before near miss must be identified must be reported to the concerned and must be controlled immediately management should take some actions also so this is how you develop now your answer uh, in the beginning part very clearly showing examiner that yes it is very important to identify and report and the management should investigate so guys uh, now we are going to do some mind mapping on the body of the answer with what we are going to provide examiner here in the body so this is also important part and here we are going to give him exactly what he is looking for why incidents why near misses must be investigated and reported so uh, if you look at the first point to identify the immediate and root causes for sure one of the most important reason is uh, we need to know why it happened and uh, what were the immediate causes directly related to that event and what are the underlying causes or root causes which are most of the time the management related causes so this is one of the most important reason of investigating near misses once we investigate and we come up uh, with the causes uh, immediate and underlying causes we can put further controls to avoid reoccurrence also second part is to prevent reoccurrence for sure as we said we don't want them to repeat all of these uh, incidents and near misses so once we identify the causes uh, we prevent reoccurrence also one of the most important reason is to collect and record the evidence we need uh, health and safety records at different levels and we need to know how many incidents how many near misses how many accidents how many property damage accidents how many injury injury illness accidents so data gathering is very important because at the end of the day uh, in the audits in the management review meetings everywhere you need to present this data to the management to know where exactly they are there are also legal reasons of uh, investigating and reporting uh, some of the incidents not near misses but some like in in united kingdom there is a regulation rider 2013 uk regulation and this rider regulation is reporting of injuries diseases dangerous occurrences regulation and you need to report certain type of uh, incidents uh, for example fatalities uh, major injuries uh, uh, dangerous occurrences and all of those things must be reported ill health cases also should be reported as per rider requirement 
although near misses are not required to be reported to those third parties to those enforcement bodies but still legal reasons of investigating is also one of the reason management system requirement is also for example you when you you might have studied in your uh, syllabus here that reactive monitoring uh, is a tool where management identifies their failures so for this reason we need to investigate also how many near misses we had so that we can put some actions for improvement and then auditor would look at that at corrective action register where you highlighted some of the areas of concern these are the near misses these are the incidents these are the accidents and these are the corrective actions we have taken to control them also for staff morale staff morale is something if you are not investigating uh, near misses or accidents if you are not reporting if you are not investigating then the staff morale goes down they think we are in an unsafe place working and nobody cares about our health and safety so employees morale will go down if you are not investigating or reporting this is also another reason and disciplinary purposes also sometimes you need to put some disciplinary actions to avoid repetition of these events for the people who are habitual uh, in making such mistakes who have a habit of uh, cutting corners and all that so uh, to have some disciplinary actions you need to investigate and see what are the unsafe effects involved and who are the people involved but this is a less serious reason i would say uh, it's not uh, you know there is no blame culture usually in the organizations so it's not for blame purposes but for discipline purpose so that the other fellows are not converting into unsafe behaviors also and for data gathering also to do some data analysis at the end we need to have these information in hand we need to have information about near misses incidents and other cases so that we see trends and patterns for example you have certain type of near misses happening in the car park area so you will develop uh, an information base here that in the car park area these are frequently repeating incidents and we need to put certain controls in the car park area we need to do some investigations and all that so it helps you in identifying trends and patterns area wise uh, incident wise injury wise it will help you later on so these are some of the major reasons why we investigate why we report the incidents and near misses now if you look at the mind mapping part on the scenario these are some of the points highlighted uh, and we need to connect them to the information we collected to answer so in the concluding part of the answer we'll be connecting all of these points and saying that in this typical situation these are the things happening which should not be there to improve safety culture to improve reporting of incidents near misses accidents and investigating all of those later on by management so if you look at the first point uh, these are repeating incidents very frequently uh, there are near misses many times as as reported by employees also uh, uh, and uh, the management behavior is very poor here management never took any action and management want employees to sort it out by themselves since there is no serious injury or issue also during meeting operation manager behavior was very poor he was uh, he was saying there is nothing to be worried about and uh, these are repeating incidents and nothing big came till now uh, no injury no fatality no major issue till now so let people sort it out and he is just escaping only he is not ready to to you know take it seriously he is not ready to put any further controls to investigate and all that even you know the behaviors of worker is that they refuse to report the near miss as they have a fear of being blamed so you know this is one of the negativity created due to the lack of health and safety consultation and frequent meetings between workers and management where they have always a fear of being blamed out of the situation so they don't want to report it even sometimes back they reported but no actions were taken so their uh, you know 
their behavior towards reporting incidents is very poor uh, also health and safety policy is not well communicated within the organization and that's why there is very poor reporting and investigation procedures there might be a reporting system uh, in the health and safety policy arrangement part but since it is not communicated to the employees nobody knows his moral legal duties towards reporting of incidents that's why people are less careful here so these are some of the points which must be highlighted which must be connected to the answer part to show the examiner that yes you identified these are the major bottlenecks out of which the incidents are not being reported and investigated so friends finally we need to uh, give it a last uh, final thought and uh, we are going to put in our last paragraph in the answer part uh, that keeping the parking near miss scenario in mind it is clear that such incidents are not given much importance by employer to further investigate as well as employees to report which is evidence of poor safety culture these are there are moral and legal obligations towards employers to investigate and control all incidents and ensure utmost safety of their workers at site worker is also responsible to report any incident any unsafe condition at site highlighting major areas of concerns to be controlled by concerned by management so this is how you need to give it a proper close out connecting everything with the scenario and the information collected so this is uh, how you are going to approach such questions so friends i think uh, uh, things are more clear now uh, on how to develop your answers for certain questions asked and typically in different scenario you need to know how to collect the information how to uh, connect it with the scenarios and how to reproduce it in your answer i hope the information is useful and uh, i'll be coming up uh, with a, with my third video on question number 3 very soon stay tuned stay connected have a safe time ahead